This episode was brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV, and welcome to our show, Access Point, where we spotlight cybersecurity companies and give an inside look at the people and technology behind the latest advancements in the industry. I'm Marley Oxenholm from Pentester Academy TV here at Druva headquarters, and I'm sitting down right now with Jaspreet Singh, who is CEO and co-founder of the company. Thank you for joining me today. Thanks for having me here. Absolutely. Uh, I got a lot of great questions here from our tech team, so you ready to get started? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right. First question. Okay. Can you tell us about the founding of Druva? Who are the founders? How did they meet? And why did you decide on this idea? So Druva was founded, uh, you know, just a simple idea of, um, you know, managing information at scale. I think we could see um, the whole epicenter of data moving from data center going to the cloud. Um, and how do you really um, think about data management from a, a protection governance perspective in the new era? We were founded by uh, two founders, myself and my co-founder and CTO, Melinth. Um, you know, and then uh, we built all the way through. Wonderful. Okay. And now, can you talk about the challenges you face in building the company to where it is today? I think you face multiple challenges as a company goes through multiple, you know, scales of growth early on. And the most important um, is to is to get the product market fit. Uh, as an entrepreneur, you have to place your bets on very few uh, future looking trends, which you would believe in and the general market doesn't believe in yet. Mm -hmm. So you have to place your bets. You have to get that product market fit right. Uh, you have to get the right people on board. Uh, and then it becomes a process of um, rinse and repeat, mm -hmm. you know, how do you scale? Um, uh, you know, innovation is one thing, but scaling innovation is a complete different challenge. So processes for large scale customer management or sales and marketing brings new challenges to life as you keep on building the company. And that's pretty much the joy of uh, building a company as you see mm -hmm. different challenges and you scale them. Wonderful. Okay. And now, uh, can you give us a brief overview of Druva's different product lines? Sure. So the, the Druva is on, on a simple idea, uh, based on a simple idea that you have to manage information at scale. And most of information today uh, is is uh, the data is a new oil and data outlives most systems by threes to one, right? So tying the, the simple processes around backup and recovery, e-discovery, governance, compliance are still tied down to a lot of systems. Um, so Dhruva's genesis was to think about holistically, how do we bring multiple elements of data management into a single platform and build an all on a modern uh, public cloud? Uh, so we have a single cloud platform called Rover Cloud Platform. Mm -hmm. um, under that, we have what we call services. Um, one of the services called InSync. InSync is is designed for end-user unstructured data across endpoints and cloud applications. It is built around the notion of how do you uh, uh, continuously manage a secondary copy using a backup, but then make the copy available for e-discovery, governance, forensics use cases mm -hmm. at later point in time. Um, uh, we have another services like Phoenix, which will focus on core data center data being managed in a similar manner. Uh, one click to back one click black one click backup and DR to cloud, and then the the governance process starts after. Uh, and then we have Apollo, a service which is purely focused on cloud to cloud. Mm -hmm. That how do you think about uh, data which you've already deployed in services like S3 or you know uh, other PaaS services in the cloud, and how do you manage holistically data? already born in the cloud uh, from a single single platform. Okay. And now I'm curious, who uses uh, Druva's products mostly? Uh, what are What does your customer base mainly look like? So our primary audience is a B2B audience. We, we look at mid to large enterprises. Uh, you know, we have uh, over three and a half thousand, four thousand customers, uh, which pretty much go horizontally. Uh, we don't have a particular vertical focus. Uh, we map our customer journey into three uh, important points, the data protection, the core backup and recovery and availability services, which is used by uh, the, 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 the data continuity or the backup or storage admin. Then we have the data governance, which, which most customers, when they solve data protection, have a very fragmented view of governance, which is forensics, e-discovery. Mm -hmm. So we target uh, legal IT, or risk and forensics and risk risk management mitigation 
people or compliance folks in an enterprise to to do that mm-hmm. and then eventually as a blue sky of data intelligence where uh, once you have data centralized in a single place uh, different knowledge teams may come and interact and say how do we you know uncover the value of data by solving very open ended use cases in an enterprise okay got it and now what would you say are the main challenges in providing data security in the cloud today so there are two kind of challenges right one is uh, how do we think about uh, security posture as a company and how do we make our customers more secure uh, so security in driver's mind is a corporate posture right it doesn't it doesn't uh, it's very important to to build a very strong security posture in the product so we've built entire product stack as a uh, service oriented architecture so they have different layers of services which have uh, a layered security model that authorization authentication is well managed between layers but it doesn't limit there i think to be to be a secure a security provider or to be secure yourself it's a corporate posture which impacts all the way from hiring mm-hmm. hiring the right people to avoid a threat metrics all the way to avoiding a uh, a security vector on your endpoints to your wifi to your operations to your uh, your source code repository so all the way through thinking through different elements of um, how a security posture of a, of a corporate should look like to make our customers uh, secure, right? To drive up plays in the whole risk mitigation space. Um, so we're not uh, a security provider to mitigate a risk, but we're a security provider to do incident monitoring, reporting, uh, e-discovery, forensics. Okay. Um, and that's where we really, really come in. Uh, and some some very, uh, you know, the one of, probably our industry is one of the most infamous cases around data leaks or you know whistleblowers and uh, i've been investigated on drivers platform mm-hmm. which uh, which is where uh, the value comes in and traditionally if you look at enterprises uh, most security problems are data problems and uh, in our space where you're looking for relevant data to solve a very core forensic challenge the backup admin had the history of all mm-hmm. the data which happened in a company mm-hmm. and his data was capped out in what value it can offer beyond simple recovery. So Druva's platform un- unravels the, the value of data by opening it up for very sophisticated uh, uh, litigation management, or forensics or compliance use cases, data use cases, which are very relevant for a security or a secondary storage vendor like us. Wonderful. Okay. And now, uh, what are the company's plans for 2018? So there are two kind of plans, right? So there's a customer-centric plan and there's a you know a shareholder plan, and we have mm-hmm. to be wary of both. So the customer-centric plan, I think, um, Driva has this uh, you know a uh, product vision which has two vectors or two dimensions. One is what data can we touch, mm-hmm. and at what value do we add, right? Beyond just core recoverability availability of data. So we are looking at aggressively for data born in the cloud. How do we manage it? How do we protect it? be it in AWS or uh, the IoT data sitting in the edge coming to cloud now, mm-hmm. how do we uh, address the manageability of the data? And on a, on, a, on a value vector, we're looking at how do we add value beyond availability? Uh, you know, machine learning uh, is, a, is a very uh, hot topic, but we're looking at some very specific verticalized use cases of machine learning that could we predict uh, security because we see so much data going through could we enable a very predictable ransomware recovery could we clean up a, a, a spill appropriately given the data constructs we know so so all those are interesting areas to look at from a shareholder value perspective i think uh, the company is growing very well i think um, we're in the our late stage of the company growth before we we could potentially look at ipo markets so the company scale and size are, are, are coming into play to understand, uh, you know, uh, our growth to be a, a independent public company as well. Wonderful. Okay, I look forward to that. And uh, lastly, are there any other interesting things that you'd like to mention about the company itself? Um, I think, uh, you know, security security uh, is a is a important ongoing concern for the entire industry. I think um, what makes Drova special uh, is the intellectual honesty and curiosity we have in the company to to make us a very curious bunch to always look at problem differently um, our entire industry the the industry drove our operates in was very much focused on systems and how you just protect data from a singular availability perspective i think drova is 
is changing the game by unlocking the value of data for some very highly uh, security focused risk mitigation use cases. And it starts with uh, the intellectual honesty and curiosity engineers and people in company have to look at problems differently and, and, and move the status quo by solving problem not being solved before. Got it. Well, thank you so much for sitting down and speaking with me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Likewise. Thank you. Absolutely. Also, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube, Twitter, and Facebook so you don't miss out on any of the latest cybersecurity news. This episode is brought to you by Pentester Academy, the leader in online cybersecurity education. Join over 10,000 professionals from 90 countries to learn security online. Also brought to you by Hacker Arsenal, artillery for cyber warriors. Visit us on hackerarsenal.com to check out our latest attack defense gadgets. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.